Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love were married February 24th, 1992 on Waikiki Beach in Hawaii. At the wedding, Love wore a satin lace dress which was once owned by actress Frances Farmer and Kurt wore his green pajamas. Apparently he had been too lazy to put on a tux. Only a handful of people were in attendance at the ceremony including Nirvana drummer Dave Grohl. Kurt and Courtney's daughter Frances Bean Cobain was born August 18, 1992 and was the joy of their lives. Kurt would say, holding my baby is the best drug in the world. Kurt and Courtney's relationship was a tumultuous one, no doubt, but they had a strong bond and cared deeply for one another. However, during the early months of 1994, this all seemed to be falling apart. On March 25, 1994, Courtney arranged an intervention for her husband Kurt to try to get him off drugs. However, this didn't go so well and Kurt was furious that this intervention had taken place. However, he did agree to seek drug rehabilitation at the Exodus Recovery Center in Los Angeles. So, Kurt flew to LA from Seattle March 30th, 94. The following day, March 31st, when Kurt was at Exodus, his wife Courtney had tried to call him several times that day and got quite angry with the staff when she was told that he was unavailable. However, the following day, Friday, April the 1st, Courtney did get to speak to Kurt on the phone. And this would be the final time the two would ever talk with one another. No matter what happens, Kurt told her, I want you to know that you made a really good album. Courtney found it odd that he would mention this, since her record wouldn't be released for another week. What do you mean, she asked, confused at the melodrama in his voice. Just remember, no matter what, I love you. And with that, Kurt hung up. That phone call took place Friday afternoon, April 1st, and it was only just a few hours after this where Kurt escaped Exodus at around 7.25 p.m. later that night. This is where Kurt would, of course, jump on a plane, head back to Seattle, incidentally met up with Duff McKagan from Guns N' Roses on that plane flight, but he headed back to Seattle and his life ended not too long after that. Just a couple of days, in fact, after he got back. So those were Kurt's last words to Courtney saying, remember, no matter what, I love you. And also wanted her to know that she had made a really good album. And that album, of course, was Live Through This, the smash hit album that did very well for the band. Kurt himself is also credited in doing some backing vocals on the album on two of the tracks. So there you go guys, that is the last time that Kurt Cobain spoke to his wife Courtney Love, the very last thing that he said to her. For what was once such a promising time with the new music and the new scene that was coming out, it was such a sad and tragic end to the whole thing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll catch you next time.